show. This is all about you. This is your weekly oracle and tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries. We're going to uh, do a full tar uh, oracle card spread here on YouTube. The link to the extended um, tarot card spread is below in the description box, which also includes your romance forecast for the next seven days. This reading is for Leo sun, moon, and rising sign. Or actually, wherever Leo energy influences your natal chart, you can plug these energies for the next seven to ten days. So, Leo, let's get your messages. Interesting. Nice. Wow. So, surprise blessings are coming your way this week. Sagittarius, do you have Sagittarius in your life or Taurus in your life? Let's say there's like a lot of abundance coming into your life, but you're not going to, you're not going to see it coming. Um, seven, something that you've been working on, something you've been creating. You've got a lot of resources. You've got a lot of assistance from somebody. Like somebody is really supporting you in a way that may have taken you by surprise or the a degree to which they're supporting you took you by surprise. This is some serious Taurus energy too. This is somebody thinking that you're extremely special. Somebody um, making you feel special and outwardly demonstrating it. Um, or this could just be sort of the universe providing and hello, blessings falling in your lap. Like Leo, this is, this is a nice way to start the reading. That's all I gotta say. This is the crowning energy for the reading. So, um, Trust in divine detours. You know, it's almost like, listen, even if you feel frustrated or irritated that, oh, I didn't want to have to pick that up today or, oh, my tire got flat. There's something about those things that are leading you, whew, like pushing you, making you take that hard right down a road that you normally wouldn't have gone and it's going to be the best thing ever. Like you're going to run into um, whatever, like the, your next boss or uh, like a, a, a lotto ticket on the street. It's all wet and, 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 and gross, but somebody dropped it and it's a winning ticket. Like that's the kind of energy that's coming off of these two cards. But I feel like it's almost a little bit more heart space too because this is somebody really caring. This is this is really seeing a respect, um, something growing or blossoming, uh, having a wonderful partnership that was unexpected with somebody who may not have been your type or that you um, just are just getting to know now or is new to your life. Um, some sort of energy of it's going a lot better. Like. It's not even that you imagined or hoped because I don't think that your focus was even in that direction. It, but every time you turn around, it just keeps surprising you and impressing you more. Let's see what else is in these cards because that's really what I know. Be peace is all the way out here. This is Libra energy. This is also the bird of love. This is balance, happiness, um, help, friendship. Uh, somebody being considerate towards your feelings or, or yeah, finding an equilibrium inside of yourself. Power of three, so mode it be. This is, this is com communion with spirit, communion. It's interesting because this is like the dove card. This is like the Holy Spirit if you were raised Catholic like I was. Um, but this is like, there's a blessing on this union or on this week, like the goings on on this week. Let's, let's unveil the other cards <laughs> <laughs> All right, because I'm curious, like I want to know. That spirit, a rebirth is assured. Something is coming out of the dark. Something is being realized. Something is almost just coming to light and coming to life. Um, a sort of a transformation or a development of some sort. A rebirth is assured. Oh, this is such beautiful energy. Five, it's the energy of five too. Something is changing. What is changing? Ooh, 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 surrender now. This is Sagittarius energy. There's Sagittarius running all over your reading, Leo. You gotta tell me why. What's going on with the Sagittarius? That's what I wanna know. Um, it could also just be you're surrendering to the moment and surrendering to the chaos and the chaos is just working for you. There's a, there's a happiness and a satisfaction that you're able to lap up. You just love it. It's like, it's like the fun and the energy, the fun energy has returned to your life. Three and nine, nine, 12, three, more threes. There's three, like there's divine intervention here that's changing your life. 
and you're flying at this. This is my card that says like a moth to a flame. So like a moth to a flame, Leo, you're just soaring in, like dive bombing something. You're going headlong. This is like, you don't, you know, wave your hands in the air like you just don't care. You don't care. You're jumping. You're leaping. You're coasting. You're gliding with style. That's what you're doing. Flying right to the sun. Like that, like, ooh, something is almost flying right at you. Maybe somebody is throwing themselves at you. Okay. We gotta stop, Leo. More transformation. This is moth, butterfly. More transformation. Of course, this is the card of um Phoenix, Phoenix, Phoenix energy or butterfly energy being reborn, being reborn from death. So, or this could be, no, this is a delicate little creature in your life. It's almost like there's a daintiness or a delicateness. There's somebody in your life that's a delicate little creature, like a butterfly. They have that sort of sprighty kind of um, fairy tale, like fairy, like presence to them. I don't know, Leo, that's, that's the message I'm getting. I think it's crazy, but, or it could be a fairy tale itself come to life. Like everything that's going to be happening this week is almost like too good to be true, but it's, but it's not because it's got like an inked edge to it. It's got like a tattooed hardcore edge to its perfectness. So it's not too good to be true. It is really true. And maybe that's what, what's too good to be true about it is this is really real and really true. This is also something that's awakening. So it could be something that new, like a new opportunity or I don't know, a new relationship. Like that's what I'm picking up. But um, like a new relationship that's just dawning, just, just growing, has just blossomed and bloomed. It's just changed from something that was a hmm, possibility, maybe... We know we both want it, but there's some sort of consummation here this week. And it's hot. I'm just saying, like, I, I don't mean to, I don't know what this is. Set healthy boundaries, bam, that's really interesting. But that's the number of three, two. So this is finding that fine-tuned balance because you're really super excited about this opportunity or whatever's going on. But you're so excited about it that you almost, because you've learned from experience, it's almost like, stop and wait. I need to be sure. Not only do I need to be sure about this, I. it's like you, you intentionally want to intervene and learn from your mistakes and do things differently. Um, just because you don't want to end up in a certain place, I feel like that's still very raw for you, Leo. So um, this is about trying to put the brakes on, trying to be a little bit guarded. This is about... Um, um, being a little, um, hesitant, um, but it's also reminding you to set healthy boundaries, which means don't build the walls too high. Don't make the armor too thick. Don't let it weigh you down because that, that look at how burdensome it gets. In other words, then there's, there's some sort of tenderness and gentleness and daintiness underneath these thick, heavy bound boundaries that have been set. And it's almost like, you finally spotted the inspiration to take the armor off. Oh, take it off, Leo. Mm. White Raven Spirit, trust in the magic. Yes, yeah, something new is definitely beginning. Of course, this could be energy of children, a child, you know, uh, a child coming to be or being born or a new life starting. But I think this is just a new circumstance or a new relationship or a new um, situation. Trust it. Uh, there's, there's, there's goodness here. Uh, to be honest with you, with this energy that's lying in front of me, you're not going to be able to stop it if you try. No, this is like divinely dictated. Um, what do we have next? What do we have next? Uh, act as if. Hmm. You know what I got when I saw this card? Because this is this is change too. I feel like first of all, there's something about you that has always been deceptive, not maliciously so, but like to impress people, it's been deceptive. Like always had to put something on. There's a stripped down rawness to you now. It's almost like you can be who you really are, 
around in this circumstance, in this situation. This is the freedom that you get. It's like going full on naked into, I heard it, full on naked into this circumstance because there's a freedom here. You can, you can let go of all the pretenses now. It can start fresh. See how his skin is dropping off and peeling off? He's like always trying to fit into a situation, always trying to sort of elaborate himself and adorn himself into what he thinks he needs to be. But in this circumstance, it's all coming off. There's a balance coming. There's also a balance between sort of like, you remember how I said like inked, tattooed or whatever? There's, there's a sort of this energy that is like, there's a balance between, you know, what's m makeup and what's fake. It, you know what I'm saying? It's like, it's like the difference between expression of oneself and hiding oneself. There's this energy of finding a way to express yourself, to use those things to express yourself and not hide yourself anymore. If that makes any sense to anybody. Um, see the big picture. This is your grounding energy. So this is you looking into the future or finding some sort of stability and seeing that there is a future here in this circumstance. Uh, this is once again, Taurus energy too. Um, this is a grounded energy that also is able to see in a distance. So he's not necessarily seeing in the future, but he sees long term and he's, he's, he's looking further out than just right in front of him. Uh, there's also a gentle tenderness, a steadfastness, a kindness to this energy um, that's stabilizing you and that adds up to 11 too so that's an awakening as well sort of awakening like you finally see your future here this is a re this is to me this is looking like a relationship that you finally see your future in like you finally see that there's a future here uh, sing your own song oh I love this energy there's so much that you have to be joyful about today there's so much that you have to be joyful about for the next seven days. This is like, this is Gemini energy. Um, um, yeah, feeling so spiritually free and like, like happy that you just sort of sing. And it's not even like singing on key. It's like you're singing off key and that's okay because you're surrounded by this feeling of, you're just... I'm telling you right now, you're freaking happy. You're really, and this is one plus two is three, two. This is divine, and this is balance. It's balance for the body, mind, and soul. It's It could be blatantly using music to stabilize you or ground you. And it's also like there's this big doe-eyed person like watching you and listening to you. And even though they're total opposites outwardly, inwardly they just fashion, like fascinate each other and want to be with each other. Complete, total, like not even yin and yang, but like I think it's like physical like differences, like, like opposites. Um, um, they don't there's a, something very delicate here something very delicate something very kind something very gentle this energy coming in this week so i do feel that there is romance budding it's just coming out though like it's for some reason you hit it for some reason you disguised it this may have been growing for some time, Leo, but for some reason, you decided that you didn't want to discuss it. You wanted to keep it under wraps. Um, but now it's almost like you're getting this, like you're, now it's almost like you don't care who knows. It's not like you're going to make a big announcement to the world, but now it's almost like you don't care who knows. You know, whoever knows, knows. I'm not, I'm not going to, like there's, I'm not going to put energy into hiding this. This is, I just noticed this. So this is the energy of seven and this is the energy of six. And for me, six in tarot is the, the lovers. So this is, that's also Gemini energy, but this is really um, healthy love. It's, it's a different love than you've ever experienced. It's with a person who is quite surprising. They, it's not even so much that they're not your type. It's that they're the, the gentleness about them is something so different. I feel like you normally wanted people in your life that sort of energized you and made you feel hot and made you feel almost competitive with them. But with this energy, it's very supportive. It's just 
tender and kind. This is Cancerian energy right in the center of your reading. And I feel like it's that heart chakra space right now. I don't know if any of you have like Cancer and Venus or your moon sign or something like that. But this is that space, something that's guarded, somebody that was protecting themselves. This could be somebody making a decision to take a leap of faith in you and trust you because they weren't so sure. They were a little bit worried. You know, you are fiery for them and too confident and maybe they didn't think they were good enough for you or they didn't feel like they um, were going to fit into your world or that you would like them that way. There was just sort of something that they were guarded by. A little, of course, as a cancer, they would definitely be afraid to make the first move. But it's almost like they're, so they were hiding themselves. But do you see, oh my God, this is so cute. The tenderness in this little guy's eyes. It's almost like you had to look really closely at this person to see how much they, they loved you and how much they admired you. This is a very gentle soul. A gentle soul with some serious sensuality and sexuality coming through. And I feel like now it's just chipping away. It's almost like they tried to disguise what they were feeling, but slowly but surely you're warming them up it's either you or them slowly but surely you're warming them up and things are starting to um, be revealed they're starting to feel more comfortable to reveal themselves to you or vice versa or just the relationship in and of itself but this is definitely relationship energy because somebody is digging on somebody up in here so hold on i'm going to review let me flip the camera and I know, I heard it already. Well, what about us Leos? I'm not, I'm, my relationships have fallen apart. Then this reading is clearly not for you. This is definitely a relation. This is definitely a reading for, this is a heart ch chakra centered, kind of um, guarding your heart, um, wanting to take off, like being so attracted to somebody you could barely resist, but being afraid because you're so into them. And then and then, you know, wanting is starting something new and, and then, and then, but needing time to feel comfortable with them and protected around them. This is three and energy of three, two. This is more Holy Spirit card, but this is like 3D Holy Spirit. It's like the spirit has landed in your life. This blessing has landed in your life, Leo. It could very well be translated into not necessarily um, your your heart space, but your home space. Something could be, you could have, honestly, you could have just found a home that you've fallen in love with and you found a place to settle and you're just so happy. So it could translate into something other than romance for your life, but there's definitely something that you love here and something that maybe you didn't think was going to work out or, you know, the abundance, you didn't see it coming. Like, you know, what, like, like, uh, you were looking at this house, you wanted this house, but you thought it got sold. And then you get a phone call from the real estate agent that said, oh, the deal fell through. Are you still interested? That kind of energy where, you know, you're still guarded. You're like, well, is it going to be taken away from me again? Um, should I trust that, you know, should I trust that it's, it's, it's on the market again? What if the old, old seller come old, uh, buyer comes back? It's almost like there was, there's this energy of, I love this so much. I want to approach this real, like I'm, I'm guarding my heart right now, even though I just want to like rip my heart out and hand it over that kind of energy. So this is something that you're extremely excited about. You cannot wait for it to happen and you can feel it coming towards you. You can feel that it's yours, but there's still some sense of, I don't want to, Oh my God, I don't want to say it. I don't want to jinx this. I don't want to you know, like, it's not going to last long though. This is a beautiful energy and I'm telling you it is yours. It's coming towards you and this is a really beautiful week for you. So if we want to dig deeper and dive into what other messages want to come out, let's go into the tarot over in the extended and then I'll pull out the romance cards too. Leo, I'll see you in the extended.